Hello, friends and family of the internet. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sigi. I got the idea to film this video because I was watching Queer as Cat, which is a channel you definitely should get into if you're not already. And they were talking about their having a change of mind about hormone replacement therapy. And I thought, yeah, I kind of need to make a video about that as well. And it took a few months and now I am here. So HRT, hormone replacement therapy, is something you can do as part of a medical transition process if you're trans. So you take hormones, they change things in your body, you can take them for life, you can take them for a few months, some changes are permanent, some changes will reverse back if you go off the hormones. Today specifically talking about testosterone, T, testo, the big thing that I've been thinking about, you might have been thinking about, so many of us have been thinking about in our lives. What do I feel about this? I still don't know. When I thought about making a physical medical transitioning process, the first thing on my list was always getting top surgery, getting my chest a lot more flat. And since June last year, when I got on the waiting list to have my double mastectomy, that was the big thing at the top of my to-do list. And when that sort of got, not crossed off, but it's getting crossed off soon, in four weeks I'm having the surgery, it was as if my mind got the space to start thinking about all of the other potential things that I could put on my to-do list. And hormones was obviously one of them. For a long time, testosterone, hormones, was something I felt like I did not want to do. I've said to people that I'm never going to use hormones, that it's not something for me, that I want my body just the way it is. That's not entirely true though. What is true is that I've had this image of what taking testosterone means. That it means that you're on a transitioning process towards becoming a very masculine, macho, cis-normative person who wants to look like a cis-het-normative man. Like I. Obviously, I know that that's not the goal for so many people on testosterone, but that's the idea that's been ingrained in my mind. This very normative binary idea of what it means to use hormones as part of your transitioning. And that made me uncomfortable, because that's not what I want. Like, I'm not sure if I am a man. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, I don't know. What I know is that I'm definitely not a very masculine person, um, or at least not now, like, look at me, I'm, I'm not a macho, macho man, that's not me. So having that idea on one hand that testosterone, taking tea was this thing you did if you wanted to be super macho, and the other hand like, I don't want to be macho, so it just confused my brain to thinking like testosterone and hormones is nothing for me. But thank God I have had so many positive examples through social media, through friendships, through YouTube, whatever, through the internet, showing me people who are using hormones as part of non-binary transitions, taking hormones for a little while, getting off them, taking hormones while still using all of a all of the types of expressions in your body. So my mind has been like massaged into realizing that, okay, you can use hormones however the fuck you want. Okay, so now I know I'm gonna get my chest a lot more flat, but how about the rest of my body? How about my cheeks? How about my arms? How about my legs? Like, what do I want for those body parts? And I sort of made this uh, pros and cons list for myself about what would be the positive things and what would be the negative things for me as I imagine myself on testosterone. So I would like to share this uh, pros and cons list with you. So first of all, the positive things. 
these are the things that I imagine I would really enjoy if I were to start taking testosterone. Number one, the big number one, a change in body fat distribution and muscle tone. So when I say I look at my body as a body that has a lot more of a flat look, that also includes a different kind of muscle tone and a less curvy body, a less soft face, like a less not... I want to be soft to touch, obviously, but I don't like softness in the feature, fullness in the curves. I want to be able to have more muscle. I want less curves. I want a more flat look. So that's the first big thing. Number two, changes in dysphoria, mood and anxiety levels. So I know, obviously, testosterone won't make any radical changes in like my actual mental health problems, but when I read, listen to people who talk about their experience, something I pick up a lot is that people seem to say that once they start hormone replacement therapy, their mental health gets better. They feel less dysphoric, which obviously, I mean, is a great thing that we all want. Everyone who experiences dysphoria probably wants to not experience dysphoria. But also things like anxiety and mood changes and depressiveness can sort of get easier. So if that would happen, that would be a very welcome change in my life. Number three on my list is genital changes. So when you go on testosterone, your genitals will change how they look. Uh, your clitoris, sorry, your clitoris will grow a bit. Obviously, depending on how long you take it, da da da. But I think that's kind of cool. Like, at the moment, I don't have very specific opinions about how my genitals look. Uh, not positive, not negative, quite neutral. It's just, I feel quite neutral about it. So have, having those parts, like, physically change, I think it just sounds kind of cool. Like, a bit, like... I don't know, alien or cyborg-y, like having a new part of your body grow out. I don't know, I think it's kind of, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> so that one, that's my number three. Number four on my list is periods and PMS. If you go on, to, on testosterone, there's a chance there will still be like stuff happening. But... <laughs> There is an even bigger chance that things will stop happening, that you will not have your period, that you will not ovulate, that you will not have PMS, and that would be amazing. Like, I have really bad PMS, I have really bad cramps, I just want to get rid of it, like, just fucking... And those were my four pros. Now for the things that I'm worried about, my cons. Number one, facial hair. I'm fucking vain, okay? I like my soft skin. I like my smooth face. And I know, like, all of my cis male relatives have really big beards. They have massive amounts of facial hair. So I think that if my body got the tiniest cue that they could, like, the body could produce more hair, it would just go and fucking produce huge amounts of more hair. And I'm kind of worried, like, I, I sort of like my skin in my face to look the way it looks, on my neck. And I know so many people who go on testosterone feel like the beard is like the big thing, they really want to have a beard. I'm afraid that it would make me more, more dysphoric, basically. But also, I mean, kind of cute though, with the sideburns. I think sideburns are really cute. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Number two, and it's the acne. Like, such a huge part of people who go on testosterone gets a lot of acne. And I've had adult acne, I had pretty okay skin up until I was like 19, and then my face poof, exploded, and it's only been a few years since it got calmer, and I kind of don't want to have acne again, because, oh, God, it was terrible. It was like painful, cystic, 
growing everywhere. My fa face felt like hot and inflamed and painful to the touch all over for years. Um, no thank you, like, uh, no thank you. And number three, <laughs> baldness. Losing my hair. Um, as I've said time and again, I'm vain. I like my hair. I like my hair a lot. I like that it's thick and soft and fluffy and there's lots of it and I can bleach it and dye it and it still stays on my head. So losing some of it or all of it would make me really sad. Then again, I know that most of my cis male relatives have lots of hair on their head. I don't know that they have any like of the, the baldness at the top of the head. I know they have like the receding hairlines that go back, but yeah, I'm kind of vain, you know, I'm kind of vain. And then there are two things that I'm kind of undecided about. The first thing being vocal changes, like in a way I would think it would be really cool to have a deeper voice. But it also makes me feel really uncomfortable to have people like listen to me and hear that my voice would be changing. It feels like super vulnerable. It makes me feel like they can see through me and like thinking about that makes me so uncomfortable. And changes in body scent. I think this happens to everyone who goes on hormone, like their scent changes. And in a way, like, I really like the way I smell. <laughs> I think I smell good. But then again, uh, people with lots of testosterone smell really good too sometimes. So, I don't know. And the last thing on my undecided list is body hair. Which is like, in a way, Oh, facial hair is like, uh, no, I don't think I want it. But body hair is more, it could be fun, it could be not fun. On one hand, as I said, I think I have really hair heavy genes. So I'm not sure how, how I would feel about like hair on my shoulders and upper body, like chest and so. Like more hair on my legs, I think would be fine. I'm not sure how I would feel about more rough hair on my arms. I don't know. Would it make me more dysphoric? Would it make me feel good? Those are my three lists, my pros, my cons, things I'm undecided about. There are probably more things that I could look up and maybe some of the things that I mentioned are wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong in any way. But these are the things that I've picked up when I've been listening to and reading and talking with other people. I'm still undecided. Like, I don't know if this is something I want to do permanently. If it's something I want to do for a long time. I also know that it's not something I have to decide right now. I know that I can keep thinking about it. Maybe in three months, in six months, I'm gonna feel like, yeah, fuck, this is something I want to do. I think I'm gonna try it at some point. Like, I think I'm gonna try it at least to know what it feels like, just so I know what it's like. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be this year, the next year, three years from now. I just wanted to add my thoughts to the great big pool of trans content on YouTube where a lot of it is focused on hormone replacement therapy and the changes people experience on that which is like fine it's amazing to see how people change and how people feel and what happens in people's lives when they transition but I also want to add that this is something that some of us experience which is this big feeling of I don't know I don't know what the fuck I want and that's fine like we're here we're just as trans we're just as non-binary we're just as gender non-conforming as the rest of everyone thank you so much for watching it's such a great feeling to make a video it just makes me really fucking happy to upload and to see when people comment and there are one over 100 subscribers here which like that's that's so cool like i love you all so much for hanging out here, for watching this, for writing to me, for just 
being part of this conversation and I I'm so happy <laughs> to be here and uh, thank you so much for watching if you want to say something please leave a comment I love reading them I re love replying to them I hope you're having a good day a good week and I will see you the next time that I make a video bye bye